The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to uh, the Tuesday, December 3rd edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, folks. Hey, during this next 60 minutes, this is all about you. That's right. I want to be able to take a look at any instrument it is that uh, you're considering or that you're in. If you're looking for support or bottoms or tops or just anything, just give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. Again, I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to Lush Show. Right now, as we take a look at the markets out here, we're going to see that we've got everything in the red. The Dow's off 374 points, 1 and 3 tenths percent to the downside. You've got the S&P off 1 percent, 30 points, the NDX 193. The uh, weakest uh, decline, if you will, uh, or the, the least percentage decline is Russell 2000, only down a half a percent, 8 points out there. Spot volatile index of 9 percent right now. That's $1.35. Trading out 16.26. Gold's up 15 bucks. Silver's up 24 cents. Those are one and one to four tenths percent to the upside. And uh, Treasury bonds, we're going to start there because we had a request from Robert, uh, who is uh, short uh, via TLT, but you've got uh, bonds up uh, nearly three points, up uh, two and 27, 30 seconds out there, trading on 160.08. Um, leading the charge, the upside, you've got bold. That's ticker symbol bold. Audentis Therapeutics up 30 bucks, 105%. Timothy Plan up $2,359. I hope you have some of that out there. Um, you, Unicure. Unicure? Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Q-U-R-E. That's up 18% or 10 bucks. Uh, to the downside, uh, individual stock-wise, dollar-wise, it'd be Amazon up 27 bucks. CoStar Group 10. Intuitive Surgical off uh, 10. Booking Holdings off about 9 bucks. So uh, let's begin. Uh, well, let's, let's begin by answering Robert's question. It's the only one that is uh, in, in the uh, on deck circle. So let's take a look at that. And Robert's question was, um, you know, what does today's candle session mean? So, Robert, when we take a look at the TLT, of course, it's going to trade off of the 30-year uh, uh, Treasury bond out here. And that's what I'm going to really look at for you. And what we're going to look at here are the daily and weekly profiles. Now, because the Treasury bond has rolled from December into uh, March, in order to grab enough historical data in order to make these profiles worthwhile, I've gone ahead and I'm using my synthetic version of the uh, contract. That way, you and I can take a look at the daily and the weekly profiles and, and be uh, relatively assured that these are the logical areas of support and resistance. And right now, if price is able to close above 160.14, you're at 160.101, so you want to watch this. Uh, well, uh, first, I hope you're using some type of stop, but above 160.16, 160.14 out there, again, you're at 160.101. That would suggest that price would head up to the top of its weekly profile. That's 162.12. So that's what the daily and weekly information are communicating to you and I. But we've got more. Or I believe we've got more. We should have more. Let's just simply go take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart for you, see if we can find any kind of pattern that is out here. And uh, all we can, uh, all I can say is no. The answer is no. I don't have a pattern to show you. Uh, wave number seven was, was exceeded during the last half hour, so we can't use that as a topping signal. You're only in bar number three of a TD setup nine count. The last nine count bar just was a little bit of a hiccup. Price is well above on a 30-minute chart, Stevie's green line of 159.82. So on the short-term time frame chart out here, I don't show any kind of a topping signal out there, at least with regard to the patterns that uh, you and I use. So it does look like what uh, T-bonds are doing out here. Well, one, you're going to have to 
focus on today's close because if price really does find resistance at the top of that profile, we'll put this up here again for you. Well, then that would be saying we're just really in this little consolidation mode in between 157.22 and 160.16 out there. So those are the levels to be watching if I were you uh, with regard to your TLT trade. So thanks for writing in, and I hope that helps you out. Now, without any questions on deck here, let's just go take a look at the general markets, kind of see where we're at. Uh, you've got the Dow off 367, the S&P down 29. But what's all that really mean out here? Well, a couple of things. One, uh, we do have a new profiles that we can report to you. Uh, yesterday, we were uncertain. We used, uh, Steve, we used uh, Stevie's Super Doppler uh, uh, tool out here, which was identifying for us that new profiles were attempting to form. And now we've got the solidified new daily profiles with price trading below the bottom of each of those. So the bottom of the ES Mini, 3097.50, you'll want to watch that. As if price closes above that, well, then by gosh, support will have held. And if it doesn't, then price may be making a run down to 3055. That's the bottom of the weekly profile. With regard to the NQ, price is below the bottom of its daily profile, 82.54. If price closes above that, well, by golly, support will have held. And if not, then price may be running down to the bottom of its weekly profile, 8067. Now, in the case of the Dow, it's so far below the bottom of its daily profile. We're really not going to go there, but it is a weak link out here. And this would suggest that the Dow is headed toward the 26909, 26748 level out there. So quite a bit lower. And in the case of the Russell 2000, price below the daily uh, bottom of its uh, box out there, the next level of support, 1575. But wait a second. Those are just the profile levels. So we've got something else that we should go take a look at. Well, we have a number of things that we should take a look at. For example, if we just take a look and get a broader view, a bigger picture, what's interesting here to Stevie, what should be interesting to you, is uh, on the longer term charts, the question is, the question for you and I is, is the breakout that we've seen take place in the month of November a real breakout? Now, when we say breakout, just take a look at the Dow in the upper left, the S&P in the upper right, the NASDAQ the lower left, the Russell 2000 lower right. Start with the Dow in the upper left. You've got a red diagonal line that is just simply attaching the highs from back in 2018. Those were the highs in January, attached to the highs in October, and that little red diagonal line. In fact, the same thing was going on in the case of the S&P. We're using the high of January in 2018, and we're using the high of uh, September of 2018. Now, when you break above a level of uh, resistance out there, if you're really bullish, what you like to see is what's going on right now as we speak, and that is price coming back to test a significant resistance level. Now, even in the case of the Russell, so the, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ are each doing the same thing as we speak at 113 in the afternoon. Now, I don't know if these levels are going to hold, but what you do need to know is these levels. Even in the Russell 2000, which has really just been trading sideways up until the end of last month, where it broke above 1602. 1602 was a real key level of resistance. But right now, price is trading at 1599. You and I are not going to fret over three points out here. So what we have is each of the indices pulling back to test key levels of support. Why is that important? Even though it's a monthly chart and it's only the second day of December. Because if price does get back below these areas, it tells us that we're still in this consolidation mode pattern out here. I don't know the answer, but we'll go take a look at some short-term time frame charts just to get a feel for what they are communicating to you. And I, of course, I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's off 361. S&P is off uh, 28. Let's go to our first caller, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing just great, Steve. How about yourself? Wonderful. Doing uh, doing well. And uh, thanks for calling. I know that you want to take a look at uh, Boyle is the uh, ticker symbol out there, which I believe is the... Uh, Mm, it's the pro shares, Alta, Bloomberg, Natural Gas, ETF out there. So is this a double? It is a double, yeah. There's the UGAZ, which is the triple. Got it. The This one, which is a double, and then just the UNG, which is the just the one, one to one. Perfect, perfect. I sent you an email yesterday in regards to natural gas. And yes. I went long yesterday just because it was a uh, you know, waited towards the end of the day to see if that candle was going to kind of form. And it was, to me, close enough to a hammer candle that, and with what we talked about as far as that other pattern that, that I took sure. a shot at it, and so far it's working pretty well. And just want to get your thoughts on where we're at now that we have this other move or follow through today. So if we take a look at uh, natural gas, let me just pull over the natural gas contract out here. And uh, what, you know, if we're looking for resistance, the only resistance levels that I have are either the bottom of the, this is market profile wise, are either the bottom of the daily box. So there's no new profile that has formed yet. It does appear that there's one that's trying to form. In fact, let me just come over to my other chart here and throw up the January contract, see if this will pull up the potential. Yeah, so there is a new profile that's attempting to form right now, Brent. Let me let me give you this area here. So this may be helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off price just simply so that you can, as soon as I can figure out how to do that here, uh, so that we can just simply take a look at the profile itself. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to use a, a yellow or a rectangle. I don't know what color is gonna show up here, but let's just use a rectangle so that I can identify this new Profile. It's a green one. Okay, there we go. So the bottom of this box out here is uh, 2.459. The center line is at 2.554. 
and the top is at 260, 2.601. Now, what we can see is the center of the box is closer to the top, so there should be significant resistance between 255 and 260. So hopefully you've got those numbers to take a look at. Now, if we take a look where price is tr trading right now, uh, it is traded into... Now, this is going to be a, uh, a little bit different set of profiles than what we looked at, than what I just mentioned earlier, because I'm using a slightly different tool here. Well, it's not slightly, it's a different tool here. But price is right now above the bottom of that profile, but it's made its way up to the bottom of that weekly level at the 251 area. So you're kind of in between support and resistance. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart and pull over Stevie's green line, that's going to be at the 254 level. So if this is just a counter trend rally, what we would expect, Brent, is to see natural gas uh, start to run into resistance and not close above uh, 254. That would be Stevie's green line. If it does, then that would suggest that price would make its way up to that 260 level. And above that, then that would say, okay, even though it didn't generate, let's say, a uh, A to B equals CD pattern out here, uh, natural gas yesterday, um, and I don't have a I don't have a bullish uh, candle set up today. Um, it just just wouldn't have bought them with one of the tools, one of the patterns that I use out there. So that's what the that that's what I see. Are those the t is the, is that the type of data and information that you needed, or is there something else that I can help you with? That's very helpful. It's just interesting, of course, when you have something that trades, you know, when the market's closed. You have yes. A, it's, yeah, but it's not completely different looking, but of course the candle that was produced yesterday in like the UNG or the boil or anything that wasn't trading yes. after hours, is a, it, just, it was a different looking formation than what you have on the something that was trading after hours. Sure, sure. No, no doubt. And, um, you know, it's as I as I developed these tools, let's say the Rhodes Momentum Indicator tool out there, which is really great at helping us to identify uh, when markets are trying to form tops and bottoms. Uh, it, it just I, I found that using the futures contracts, if they're available, were really the way that gave us the the best most reliable information. Here's the monthly chart right now for the natural gas contract, and we can see that price is sitting right on a resistance level. That's the monthly uh, red line area. We did see in the month of October where price did close above that, but then it gave it right back up in the uh, month of November. And on this chart here from my Ninja Trader, the monthly uh, resistance level was the bottom of that profile out there at the 290 area. So you're in this resistance zone. Um, doesn't mean that I can't clear it. I would say that what you'd like to see today is certainly a close above the top of that or the bottom of that daily profile, which was 2.459. That's about the best info I can provide you on a short term basis. I don't have any signal of a top. Oh, let me just do a quick wave count from this little hammer candle out there. Now, I just I don't have anything here to suggest that there's a, a top. So we just have to go with those larger levels of um, Taz profiles, Stevie's green lines, red lines, and so forth. Yeah, that's what I was looking for to see what levels would be potentially a, a resistance on the way up here. And you've just done that. So I much appreciate it. Have my, a my, great day. I, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving and had some good time with your family and just uh, Very you take much. care. I'm, I'm sure we'll talk soon as always. That sounds great. That was Brent in Martinez, California, and uh, always good to uh, hear from Brent. And, and here's one of the things that Brent was referring to, just so you can also just see it. So if we take a look at Boyle as an example, and in the case of uh, Boyle, um, yesterday's candle would definitely be a hammer candle out there. So there's there's no doubt about that. So there there is a clear signal of um, you know potential A to B equals C D to the downside in it. Just out of curiosity, let me pull up. UNG, see what the candle formation. In, in the case of UNG, and this is what we talked about yesterday, here what it did was it formed, this is the daily chart we're looking at, it formed that uh, hammer candle. Now, I'll just put up here, uh, let me put up the uh, natural gas, the G20 out here. Let me see if we can pull this up. And so now when you take a look at yesterday's natural gas contract, what you're going to see is this was a uh, bear harami candle out here and uh bearish around me and, and so nowhere close 
to a uh, to a hammer candle out there. So uh, again, for my preference, it's it's uh, focusing in on the underlying instrument. That would be the uh, that would be the January natural gas contract. That is, I believe, what is the entire holdings inside of UNG. But you'd have to check that out. I haven't looked at that for a few days out there. So. Um, Let's go back to the, uh, well, here's a question. Can we take a look at hogs and, and cattle out here? We're about to go to a break. Uh, so when we get back from the uh, break, Ruby, we will do that. In the meantime, we just have a few moments here, and we'll take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart here for the ES Mini. And here you've got the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. Sorry about that. And what you can see is you did get a bullish engulfing candle right around noon. And the question is, 3087, is the ES Mini going to clear that level? This is a bearish structured. 30-minute box out here. You've got the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern. You've got the bullish engulfing candle. And now the next question is, will price close up our resistance? A bearish structured 30-minute profile, 3087. If we see a close above that on a 30-minute basis, you can see a run all the way up to, well, 3113 could be a level. Trade right now at 3085. See Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastery Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trade along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. The uh, Dow down 332 S&P off uh, 26. We're going to go take a look at uh, hogs 
and uh, live uh, cattle out there. And uh, so let's begin by taking a look at uh, cattle. Ruby, I'm not sure what you uh, need, it, what information you need, but here you've got the uh, 6240, the uh, daily and the uh, weekly time frame charts out here. What you're going to see is price right now is trading above resistance. That would be the uh, top of the uh, profiles in the daily and the uh, weekly price trading with inside the profiles for both the 60 minute and the 240 out there. So this looks bullish, but let's not stop there here. Let's go ahead and bring over. Let me bring over. This is going to be a little bit easier. I don't know what time frame it is that you wanted to uh, look at out here, but we can go take a look at various ones. So if we take a look at... Um, if we take a look at the uh, February contract here for live uh, cattle, what we're going to see is that uh, price was moving higher yesterday, doing with less relative energy, and you did get a bearish dark cloud cover candle out there. So this has a sign of a uh, top. We wouldn't see that with regard to the way we take a look at profiles out there. So it just suggests uh, being careful. I don't know if you're long, you're short. If you're long, just make sure you've got some stop in place out, a stop in place. And, and if this is, and this is follow through to the downside, um, if we take a look at uh, price out here, uh, and so so therefore just, just be careful out here. If price does close back below the top of that um, well, weekly or the top of the uh, daily 125.24 out here. Then what we'd be looking at is move down maybe to the bottom of that box, that 123.90-ish area. That's what the uh, daily time frame chart is showing us. But let's go ahead and we can go take a look at the weekly chart. What's the weekly show us? Does weekly show us any significant signs of the <clears throat> top? The answer is no. So if yesterday's candle was a fake out, where price is headed to is probably where the resistance level is at. The TD9 resistance here at 129.80. That's what the uh, weekly chart shows you. We go take a look at a monthly time frame chart. Here what this tells us is a nice bottom, longer term. You had a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, looks like back in September. That nice big bull sash candle was actually a bull sash. It was a key reversal candle as price was pushing lower, doing less relative energy. I had mentioned to uh, Brent, I think we were uh, talking about the Rhodes momentum indicator. Uh, tool in the bottom or the top out here. Just a great tool for helping us to identify those. So here, this is suggesting that price may make its way up to 130.45, but that's on a longer term basis. You might be interested in what's going on on a short term basis. Here's your 30 minute time frame chart out here. This shows us up at about resistance of the top of its box, but price above Stevie's red line. So that's short term bullish. Here's your 60 minute time frame. I can't read that. Can you? No. No signs of any kind of a bottom. It did make a seventh wave move, a high out here, letter G up at its uh, high. This is on a, um, what time frame, 60-minute uh, chart that we're using. Uh, so at about 1030, back on November 29th, that's when that pattern came in. Here's your two-hour time frame. Roads momentum indicator top on that. Here's your 240 roads momentum indicator top on that. Uh, this would suggest that if price closed below 124.15 out there, you could have a change in trend, at least on that time frame. And in the five hour time frame chart, also having that roads momentum indicator top. So the, the, Longer term, bigger picture monthly looks really good, but in the shorter term, even getting down to the uh, daily time frame chart just says that you should be cautious and careful. So, Ruby, I hope that that helps you out. That might have been the that was the uh, that was the BOGO buy one, get one free uh, review of live cattle. Now, the get one free is going to be hogs out here. Um, and we take a look at hogs. Here's what we know at this stage. Let's take a look at the daily time frame. The daily time frame showing us the A to B equals CD pattern. It's at the 1 to 1.272 area. Price is below the bottom of its daily profile out here, Ruby. This looks to me like what price wants to do is get back and test the uh, swing point of August the 5th. Yes, it's trading inside that, but maybe test the low of that level. And that's right around the... Well, I can't read it. I should just move my data box so that I can read it, so that you can read it. There we go. That price level out there is 63.67. You've got a 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD to the downside next. So it looks like lower price is uh, what you're looking for when it comes to lean hogs. Now, the only caveat there is that price is sitting at support on a weekly time frame. So here, let's just open up the weekly profile, and you can see the bottom of that box 
to 65.62. So if price closes below that, then I think the daily chart is the one that is ruling here. So price is sitting at support, but no reversal signal that I see on that daily time frame. So I hope that helps you out in the BOGO, buy one, get one, hogs and cattle. Um, was there another question out here? Um, I'm sure there's questions. Let me see. Yeah, Mike. Well, Mike writes in, Michael H., and he said, would you kindly review both gold and natural gas? So we did uh, We did the natural gas. We don't have to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, gold. You're, but you're talking specifically about GDX. So why don't I really give you, we'll, do, we'll give you the twofer as well. So if we take a look at uh, Goldilocks out here, trading out at a uh, price point of 1484. Again, because of the role of the contract, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to my to my synthetic version. Um, and here's what you're looking at. Now here you're taking a look at uh, gold, how it's priced in uh, both, uh, well, not both, but in pounds, euros, and yen, as well as US dollars. Of course, what you're interested in is how is it priced in US dollars? Well, you're really interested in all of them, each of them moving higher. The key level to be watching today in gold come the close is going to be 1481.50. 1484 is what it's trading at right now. If price closes at 1481.50 or below or gets back below it maybe after the trading overnight or something, then what this is telling you, Mike, is be careful because what you can see, if you just look at the left-hand panel, well, let me just simply expand it. That way nobody gets confused. Here's the panel, and you're going to see that price has been trading inside this uh, box, inside this set of profiles since November 14th, December Third is today's date, so three weeks, a good three weeks out there, and 1481.50. I would not be surprised to see price hold that level, but let's not uh, worry about what I believe might happen. Instead, just wait to see what does happen. Now, in the case of the GDX, which you own out here, uh, today's candle is a, a shooting star, but today's candle is not done out there. As far as anything, this is just trading in essence sideways as well out here. I don't have anything bearish. Today's candle is really two types of candles. This is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, meaning that this was a gap to the upside inside the GDX, but the current candle, so that you've got a gap to the upside, that's bullish. And now if this were the close, you'd have a shooting star, which is bearish. So which one is it? And I don't know the answer to that. Nobody would know the answer to that. You'd have to really wait till tomorrow. Now, usually the way a shooting star, we don't know if we'll end up with a shooting star. It's only 137. So we've got uh, lots of time uh, to uh, trade in these markets out here. But um, as far as anything else about the uh, GDX out here, what else can I share with you that would be helpful? I suppose if I go to our three time frames, just to show you the different profiles, daily, weekly, and monthly, price is above the uh, daily profile as we speak right now. That's 27.50. So you'd sure like to see price close above that. With regard to the uh, monthly, I apologize, with regard to the weekly, you can see the consolidation or at least resistance right where it's trading into or it traded into earlier today, this 27.81 the center of its uh, weekly profile. In the monthly, here's your profiles. Top is 2880, bottom is 2555. Not really providing a whole lot of help to you, Michael. So best of luck on those trades. Just use some stops. Average true range in GDX, 54 cents over the last 10 trading sessions. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, phone lines are open eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We've got the uh, we've got the uh, Dow off three twelve, S and P down twenty four, and a question coming in. Um, yes, question E S Z nine. Uh, 30 minute chart made a trough G37 now in leg B. The upset in were were an idea that should go to leg D before bounce is done. So uh, John is asking about the ES mini. Let me just go ahead and pull over my uh, new version of the uh, tools that I'm building out here. John's referring to letter G on my chart. That is the uh, market singing in the key of G. And uh, you'll see, <laughs> excuse me, down here at 10 o'clock, um, well, it was before 10 o'clock when uh, wave uh, wave number seven or letter G was being formed. It actually began at about um, eight o'clock this morning. But we finally did complete at uh, 10 o'clock. More important than that, uh, John, in my opinion, more important than that, price was being stretched. It was the rubber band. Price was moving lower, doing with less relative energy. In other words, the push down yesterday at 11 o'clock in the morning had more strength in it than what we saw earlier today. We can just simply take a look at the RSI tool at the bottom you'll see the lowest low was made at 11 o'clock yesterday morning not as price was moving lower today at 10 o'clock it was pushing lower with less weakness out there whenever that happens it says you've got to be careful now you can see that uh, my automated program here starts drawing those lines in fact they drew one last night at uh, 6 30 was when the first uh, uh, first uh, indication that price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. You got a nice little bullish piercing candle at 7 o'clock last night, follow through at 7.30. I went ahead and just simply rifled out an email to subscribers who had already known at about 6 o'clock before the uh, futures market opened up that what to anticipate was a 30-minute roads momentum indicator signal would likely form. We didn't know when it would form. We knew what to look at out there. And then as soon as it formed, Formed, it provided folks with a opportunity to at least just understand the pattern and the ability to be able to call the shot ahead of time. You know, it's like a, it's like a, you two can be Bill Belichick or whoever, whatever coach it is you might want to be out 
there because this is your team here. Your team are these uh, are these candle configurations and these patterns out there, right? Uh, playing football, it's all about patterns. Uh, you call the audible out here. In any event, let's just simply take a look and try to answer John's question now. In order to do that, we're going to have to flip through a number of charts. So here's what we know right now on a 30-minute basis. 30-minute doesn't close for another 15 minutes, but price is trading above resistance. Resistance being the top of the 30-minute profile, 30.87 out here. So uh, yes, this would suggest that price wants to move higher, but let's not stop there. Let's simply move over to the 60 minute time frame chart because it all is going to be dependent upon time. What are you looking at? If we take a look at the 60 minute time frame for the ES mini, we're going to see that this formed a TD set up eight count bottom. Well, TD nine count bottom. My apology. What I mean is that it actually bottomed on bar number eight. Now, until my software is done, until I can do the back testing, which is still going to be a few weeks. Um, I won't know. I think, visually speaking, when the TD9 count pattern forms and bar eight is the low, we typically see a really nice um, bottom configuration. Now, this is for a 60 minute time frame. That being said, you did get your bullish reversal candle. That was at around noon, so that confirms this pattern. Price right now is dealing with Stevie's red line. That's a 3087, John. And the top of its box is 3089.70, so just call it 3090. If you are to see a close above 3090, so it's trading up to resistance. Nothing to indicate on a 30-minute basis or a 60-minute basis that this is it. Just price is up at resistance. So if price can take this out, conceivably, John, you could see a bounce up to 3121.25. That is where price broke down using that TD setup nine count. Now, let's not stop there. Let's just simply go take a look at a two-hour time frame chart. Here on a two-hour time frame chart, it shows us the top that formed out here, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top that actually came in on a Friday. And... Um, uh, no bottoming pattern out here that I've got for it. But you may not be using a two-hour chart. Maybe you're using a 240-minute chart. Well, if we do that, um, we don't have a bottoming configuration pattern out there. Uh, if I look at a five-hour time frame chart, um, I don't have a... All that we have in the five-hour time frame chart is price moving back to a key level of breakout support at 3086. Yes, it got below that, but it's trading above it right now. If we look at the daily time frame chart here for you, uh, 3063 is the area that is strong support. Um, forget about the profile that shows up here for the ES Mini because we know that there's a new one using my other tools. It's not yet taken effect inside the um, inside the daily time frame chart here uh, on Ninja Trader. Uh, John, another thing to look at on the weekly time frame chart is that price is testing a key level of support. That is DB's green line. Yeah, price is just slightly below, but it's in this 3088-ish area. So price trading back into a, a key level of support. And then in the monthly time frame, uh, what price has done today is test that key level of support, Stevie's green line, the oscillator and change line, and that was at the 3070 area. So how would we summarize this? Look, folks, on the short-term charts out there, you've got those Rhodes Momentum Indicator signals. And so now what you watch is you just watch to see how does resistance get handled. That's the top of those profile boxes out there as we speak right now. And the one I'd really be focused on is 3090. Above 3090, and it says that price, and it's got to be a close. Stevie needs to see a close uh, above 3090. In this case, here it'd be on the hourly time frame chart, would say we move higher. Otherwise, the counter trend rally is over. It cannot take out resistance using those short term time frames. So, John, I hope that that helps you out with regard to the ES Mini and taking a look at it and multiple time frames. What else is it that you and I can take a look at? There are uh, no callers on the line, and let me just check the email uh, system out here. Uh, I don't see any requests, so uh, that means we've just got to go surfing. So if we're going to go surfing, what else are we going to take a look at? Take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's go see where its advanced decline oscillator reading is. Right now it's at minus 127. Earlier in the day, it was down at the minus 150 level. It's at the minus 150 area where you can see bounces or bottoms in the market. So uh, we don't have that right now. Um, but uh, you'll want to watch that reading come day's end, that minus 150 or minus 128 as we speak. If we take a look at the spot volatility index, uh, it has uh, rejected the top of its 50 to 1 Bollinger Band. That is the uh, left-hand panel. Oftentimes, that can be where the spot volatility index will peter out, so to speak. 
And if it does uh, simply find resistance there, well, then what the price would really do is likely back up and test the 50-day exponential moving average. That would be 1393, and that would put some energy inside the ES Mini out there. Um, anything else that is on this chart worth noting? Uh, nothing that I nothing that I see here. Um, PTR levels for the ES Mini. Uh, here, this just simply is showing us, again, that trend line. We looked at that at the beginning, although we looked at it for the cash indices. We looked at the S&P, the Dow, the Russell, and the NDX 100. Here's the ES Mini really doing the same thing, coming back, testing key levels of support. 3097, which is the uh, weekly horizontal trading range level, as well as, in essence, that diagonal move off of the 2018-2019 uh, highs out there. So, again, price just sitting at support. Same pattern inside the NQ, sitting right at support, that horizontal, um, diagonal uh, trend line level. And if we take a look at the Dow, the same thing here. So here's what we know. Price is sitting at support. Short-term time frames have got that Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Dow's off 334. Be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Tucker's asking about the uh, spot volatility index. Uh, let's just go back and take a look at it. And, uh, and, and, and Tucker, I'll give you the, the best information that I can at this stage of the game. So what you're looking at here, and this is the top panel of the uh, chart, you're taking a look at uh, two red lines and one blue line. The blue line is the 50-day uh, exponential moving average. The two red lines are your Bollinger Bands. The only time I actually use Bollinger Bands where I found it most useful to me just have been trained enough to otherwise is using that 50 to 1 setting out there. That's not the default. And uh, knowing that when the spot volatility gets down towards the bottom of that band, that's where you start to see um, that's where you start to see tops in the marketplace. And when price is up towards the top of that band, that's where you start to see bottoms in the marketplace. Now, not always, but if we take a look at the last time that there was a, a bottom that was formed out here, the last time I'm referring to coming back into the October time frame, what you'll notice out here is that on October 2nd, there was a slight close above the uh, that, that 50 to 1 Bollinger Band, but it basically was a resistance level. And then what happened is the... Uh, S&P went ahead and formed a bottom on the very next trading session, October 3rd, out there. And even though there was a little bit of jostling around for a couple of days, we can see that that area, don't use it right to the T, which is 1674, don't use it right to the T, um, you know, it maintained its resistance level. And then the S&P 500 continued moving higher. So, yes, it shot up over the last couple of days. I didn't have enough time today to do it. You guys can go back and, and do a test yourself. Oftentimes, you can see these little two to three day knee jerk reactions. And this, in essence, would be day number three day number two to day number three out there of a knee-jerk reaction. So just be careful and watch for those bottoming signals out here inside the marketplace. Folks, thanks so much for joining me today. Stay tuned. Two great hours left. You've got our favorite polar bear, David White, Tom O'Brien, and I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday. Take care.